just need to loosen up. Hair's fine, weave's fine. Take two, we're running out of film. <laughs> that wasn't funny. For my next nail the challenge, uh, I have been given the task of recreating Australia's favourite biscuit, the Tim Tam. I think this is the best thing ever to come out of Australia. It's the best snack, and also you can use it for ASMR. Listen to this. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it tastes a lot better than it sounds, so let's give it a go and make them. So in recreating the Tim Tam, we're going for the OG, the original, single coat. So if we do a bit of a cross section, you can see that each Tim Tam is made up of three components. So you've got a kind of shortbready multi biscuit, a bit of it like a chocolate mousse cream, and then a milk chocolate coating. I need to give them a taste now that we've deconstructed. Usually I'm more of a dark chocolate type of guy, but I think these are perfect. First of all, we're gonna get onto that biscuit layer because that's gonna have to cool down so we can sandwich everything together. So I'll clear the deck, have a snack and we'll start. Damn it. <laughs> I actually know how to cook, believe it or not. So for the biscuit layer, we're gonna start off creaming some sugar and butter. So as you would when we're making a normal cookie. The thing we wanna get here in this Tim Tam, you can see it's a really crunchy, crisp, short cookie. So we definitely wanna have caster sugar and then a decent amount of butter. Cream those together. We're just gonna go in with one whole egg while the motor's running and just make sure that it's fully incorporated. The remaining ingredients we can dump in all together now that's all incorporated. We've got some plain flour, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, the melted milk powder, a pinch of salt, because everything in life needs some balance. And then lastly, before I mix it all together, is just some golden syrup and mix together. That's all incorporated together. Give it a taste, just for. You've got to taste some, if you've never tasted some, yeah. You've never had raw cookie dough. <laughs> we're just gonna take all the mixture and get it onto a piece of baking paper. And we're gonna to have to chill this down so then we can roll it out. And then just cover it with another piece of baking paper. Okay, so onto a tray. I reckon I'm gonna probably chill that for about 30 minutes or so, just until this is nice and hard and I can roll it out to get that perfect thin layer for the Tim Tam. So, into the fridge. Back. Um, so this was in the fridge for about 30 minutes and it's hardened up quite nicely. You can see it's got a good texture that I can roll out. And then we wanna get it to about one, one and a half mils thick. So when you are rolling it out, keep on twisting the batter as you're rolling it and that way you're gonna make sure we get a perfectly even flat surface. I don't go to the gym, I just make cookies. You too could have a body like me if you don't go to the gym and you just make cookies. That's another health tip. Back into the fridge or freezer for a few minutes, then we can peel it back and bake it. That's been in the fridge for a few minutes and you can see it's hardened up. So if I peel this back, it's not taking all of the pastry with it. I've got the oven at 160 fan forced or 180 conventional. 10 minutes and we'll see how we go. Hmm? How many Tim Tams have I eaten? You've got to remind me to suck in my stomach when I do these videos. Maybe get a corset or something. Okay, it's been about 10, 10 minutes. I reckon another two minutes, just to cook that center a bit more. So that was 12 minutes. And the cookie's still soft, but to get that perfect shape for each Tim Tam, we're gonna have to cut it while it's warm. So if we take a Tim Tam, it's six by three. Okay. All right. Okay, three centimeters. And line those up. And now we're gonna go six centimeter cuts. We've now got a biscuit, which is gonna be the right size. So now as these cool down, they are gonna crisp up. So let's get those into a tray. Now I'm gonna attempt to make that mousse layer in the middle. You can see if you attack it with a knife here, it's quite firm. I wanna make a thick, thick ganache, I'm thinking. But instead of using cream, I'm gonna use butter, and that way it's gonna be a lot more solid. Double boiler, making sure a bowl's not touching the hot water. Butter, 
and a teaspoon of cocoa. And again, because it's me, everything needs a bit of salt. And once it's started to melt, just give it a stir. So we can just get that off the heat. And don't panic, it kind of looks like it's splitting because we've got so much fat in there. We've got the butter, we've got the white chocolate. But what happens when this solidifies, it comes back together again if you give it a bit of a stir. Cool it down until it's completely solidified. I reckon about hour, two hours, but just leave it at room temp. Don't go into the fridge because I think that'll seize it up. So, patience. Okay, so you can see it's been just over an hour and it's gone really nice and thick, so it's spreadable on the cookies. So grab two of your biscuits, and even though we used a ruler there, they may be a bit out of whack, some of them. So just get a board and just line them up. That way we're gonna have perfect sandwiching. So a bit of that thick mousse, and then just push them together, and that way any excess will push out the sides and then fill in the gaps. I'm just gonna get them into the freezer and that way they can just harden up a little bit more. So when we pour that melted chocolate over, they're definitely gonna solidify. While you wait, give it some down. For the chocolate coating, I've just melted some milk chocolate here. And to ensure it solidifies instantly, um, we're gonna go on with some coconut oil and just let that melt entirely. Cool. So, Obviously a Tim Tam is coated on both sides, so what I'm going to do first is coat one side and set it with that side up. Just a few minutes in the freezer to set the one side a little bit so we can flip them over. More waiting. More Tim Tams. The freezer's just allowed that side to set a bit, so just give them a flip over. Now the final bit of coating. So I'm going to use a flat-edged container here to pour over the chocolate. That way it's got a wide edge that'll spread out the chocolate as you pour over. So to get that signature Tim Tam look, I'm just going to flatten out the tops of them a little bit so there's not too much chocolate. These are single coat, not double coat. So once you've let them drip through a little bit, I'm going to get them onto another tray lined with baking paper and that way they can set properly and have a flat bottom instead of having all the ridges. Mine are a little bit thicker. But that's all right, that's more filling, yeah. more decadent. I think it's pretty, pretty close. Like I know which ones I want to eat. The real test of a Tim Tam though is a Tim Tam Slam, which apparently Lucy's never done somehow. You've never done Tim Tam never Slam? Never done it. Okay, so true test of a Tim Tam is being able to have it with some tea or coffee. So what you do to do a Tim Tam Slam Shall is I you bite, one? yeah, take one. Okay. You bite one corner, right? And then you bite an opposite corner, yep. And then you suck tea or coffee through it, and then you have to eat it before it like completely melts. So one side, then the other side. Is it a raise? No, I'm just hungry. And then suck tea through it like a straw. Okay. And the foot all melts. Mmm, I did it. I oh, know, it's melting because so you've got to eat the whole thing. Okay, cheers. Apart from it being a bit thicker, the flavour's like all there. Yeah, the flavour's there. It's melty. Yeah. If you see that thing, that biscuit still stays together. So for this recipe, head to delicious.com.au and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please. Number one. Tim Tam Slam number two. Bye. I feel as if I should go for my citizenship now. I know. <laughs> You're a real Aussie now.